So big news yesterday, well, actually not yesterday, earlier this uh, week, last week, came out from U.S. Cellular, Nokia, Qualcomm, basically succeeding on a, on a milestone around 5G millimeter wave. Now understand, 5G millimeter wave is the uber fast, okay? It's the uber fast 5G, the one that's going to change our, our lives and our experiences. Um, and the three companies have come together using Nokia's extended range millimeter wave solution on U.S. Cellular's production network and using Snapdragon's X55 5G modem RF system with their QTM 527 millimeter wave antenna module to set a new world record getting to near gigabit speeds and on a distance of almost six miles. Pat, you know, we don't do a lot of news. That's the news. Sorry about reading that off, but I, we got we to frame this for people. This is big. Let's, let's, let me tell you why this is big. You go into a big urban city, a big urban city, like New York, Chicago, um, LA, San Francisco, soon to be Austin. You go into a big city, you get that 5G, and you get those gig speeds on your device. It's faster gaming, faster streaming, faster browsing, whatever you want to do. It's different, and the experience is next generation. You go on a 5G sub-6 network somewhere out in a rural area, and it still feels pretty much like you're on 4G. It just does. It doesn't feel that different. What we've been waiting for is how do we help like rural locations, small cities, towns, um, places with less infrastructure than we have here and give those same speeds, that same potential into put it into our workplaces, our schools, our classrooms and our homes. This is what the three companies are coming together to accomplish here. They were coming together to basically democratize the highest speed connectivity and make it available to everyone throughout the country. This is a big deal. Um, and of course, once it's being done here, it can be democratized into other rural areas, other um, areas with less infrastructure. And by the way, Pat, before I turn this over to you, all I wanna say is when we talk about an infrastructure bill, we talk about spending trillions of dollars, this is the kind of stuff I expect to hear that we are investing in. I know roads and bridges, but I would really like to hear something about this kind of technology being democratized and made available all over the U.S. and potentially scaling out to around the world. Yeah, I mean, this one was pretty straightforward here. I mean, I, I see, uh, like you do, a lot of opportunity uh, for rural uh, action here. And, you know, this this one gigabit at, at 10 kilometers will be fractionalized. But when you compare that to the what's available out there right now, this is this is far and above uh, uh, what what speeds are. I mean, if you're in rural America, you're happy to get uh, 10 or 15 uh, megabit per second down and maybe one or two up. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I live it. I've got a place in the uh, in the country. Actually, actually, it's not even rural. It's just a it's a lake house. and I can barely get uh, a coverage out there. So I think this this is a, a real big thing. You know, if you are suburban, uh, you, you you know, millimeter wave, you'll want to have your antenna outside uh, the home because uh, it's not as pervasive uh, going inside of homes. So um, I I think this is is from a, a large um, Qualcomm point of view, this is one of the big growth business of fixed wireless access that they hadn't participated in and the ability to uh, partner with uh, MSOs, uh, partner with carriers, to be able to uh, roll this out as another revenue opportunity for Qualcomm.